I am making this a video because um, I can and I haven't yet, so I'm just sort of trying it out. Um, anyway, the sub selection tool. First, I'm drawing a line here, and then I will zoom in for seeing it easier. Select the sub selection tool, click the uh, shape here, and now you can see all of the vertices. Uh, why is this helpful? Well, you can manu you can uh, manipulate them. You can move them around if you want to. It also gives you bezier handles so that uh, you can mess with the curves a little more. Um, but one of the nicer things about the subselection tool is if you have so many vertices in here, um, obviously you don't need them all. So you can delete one that doesn't need to be there and then come in here and manipulate the bezier handles. Of course, this one's right on top of the vertice, which makes it harder to grab. And it's not going to let me grab it. Fine, be a dick. Trying to show somebody something, and you gotta be like that. But, um, yeah, now I can move it around so you don't have to have quite so many vertices. Like, say, if I was to zoom back out here and drop my smoothing all the way down, I said drop it all the way down. My computer is just being really nice to me today. Then draw a line in here. And click this one and look at all the vertices there. Obviously, you wouldn't need all of those. Um, showing you the optimized tool, which you probably already know how to use. Um, set it all the way up. Okay. And it reduced it by 87%, taking 246 curves down to 31. And now, with the sub selection tool, we can actually see the difference in the vertices. And say you still want to cut more out, well, you can do that. You can sit here and delete all the extra vertices as you want. And if you want them to still have that same curve, you mess with the Bezier handles. Uh, but that's the sub-selection tool. Hopefully this was helpful to you.